Hi, Ed here real fast. Just a side note, uh, there's no, the, the montage at the start is not really like a lot of funny things because this game isn't really that funny, funnily enough. Yeah, enjoy the video. A retired captain of the guard and his daughter are strolling through the festival market. I love the festival market. A few moments later. We didn't get to see the other, we didn't get to see our friend. The third choice. Yo. Hello, anyone and everyone. Welcome to Edtraw Plays Ash of God's Redemption. Uh, price twenty four ninety nine US dollars. Developed by Ar Arum Dust. A U R U M Dust. Published by Arum Dust slash Whisper Games. Came out March twenty third, twenty eighteen. So you know we're a little a little behind on this one. Ash of God's Redemption is a turn-based RPG, RPG that combines tactical combat, CCG elements, and a constantly evolving story in which no one is safe from death, including the main characters. Okay. Turn down the music a little bit, but this is... Alright, enough of that. Uh, new game. We're gonna jump into... I'm digging the music, though. I, I'm digging the music, but we're turning it down. Alright, gotta keep the character grunts and dialogue, of course. Special mode for those who enjoy the plot the most, recommend for all players. You know, we're just gonna do classic. We haven't played this before, we're just gonna jump in blind. Ooh. Year 300 since Divine Retribution, the Spring Equinox. We're being judged by many a people. Am I crying? Is that white, white paint? Oh, I'm crying. There's a tear going down my eye. What the heck is happening? My boys in their white cutlass and dagger. This is that lady we used to fight in a RP setting back on a World of Warcraft server. My old RP character fought with one big sword and one small sword. Are they going crazy from going berserk? What's happening? Is this evil magic? What the heck? What's happening? No, he couldn't kill himself. I mean, is that good or bad? He wasn't able to blow himself up like the sun. All right. Unsolved mysteries are like an unquenched thirst. Premonitions of trouble to spur you to keep going. Did somebody pull up? No, no one's here. That's weird. Take a peek out the window. No one's home. All right, what's going on here? Where are we? 1,002 years since divine retribution. The end of winter. The Vale of Mercy. Foothills of the Milky Mountains. I like the art style so far. Reminds me of Banner Saga. Oh, we're not gonna. We're not. We're done reading that. Right. Seven year hundred. Seven hundred years ago, you and the other heroes took to the field of at Drowsy Deep, seeking to prevent a great calamity, the Reaping. You so, your self sacrifice should have destroyed the Reapers once for all. Nine years ago, you began feeling a growing sense of unease and decided to roam. Termi Terminum in search of the cause. A month ago you met a temple servant in the town of Gordian. There was something peculiar about him 
feeling a long forgotten sense of dread, you realize it was the Umbra Reaper in disguise. He knows you too, but chose not to pursue. Bowing and jest, he merely winked at you. Okay. The return of the Umbra forewarns an impending reaping, so you head to the Milky Mountains, seeking to lo seeking the local Cirrus. You help uh, to learn the time and place of the coming reaping and prevent it. When you stepped onto the narrow path, you noticed several footprints at the same time. You thought others might be seeking advice from the Cirrus, but they're just ordinary bandits in search of easy prey. Okay, time to act. Blue tiles indicate where your character can move during the current turn. Orange tiles indicate extra moving distance uh, that require extra energy. Your skill is quick strike. Enemy standing on a pulsating tile or within reach. So these. Just like a target, click on the thing you're talking about. Oh, yeah. Most attacks allow you to damage either the health or, en or the energy. Select your health. Okay. Ooh, walk, walk, walk. The casualness. The casualness. <laughs> Dude's chucking axes. Damaging an enemy's energy reduces their options because the faster movement. Like, uh, because faster movement and power skills require energy to execute. Moreover, if an enemy has zero energy remaining, double damage will be dealt to health instead of energy. The enemy has a lot of health, but only five points of energy. It makes sense to strip him of his energy so you can do double damage to his health. Double damage. Look at me, right click. See, yep, skills. And then we go energy. Whew. That's double. What are you going to do, energy? Let's Don't you... You see an enemy, uh, you can select the enemy to learn more about their abilities. Click on the tile they're standing on with the left mouse button. Now that you've chosen the enemy, you can see a list of their moves in the lower part of the screen. Mouse over them to read their descriptions. Oh, I, sorry. You can manually cho you can choose to manually walk to your destination before choosing to attack you. Click on empty tile. I, I meant to read that guy's thing. I apologize. Can I, it's all right, well. Walk on your friend's corpse. You want to use a skill that doesn't require a target? Right click your tile. Uh... And then use that one. You see a list of skills that do not require a target first. There's also a skip button that I can't use. Yeah, you won't let me skip my turn. I don't want to damage his energy. Okay, I guess I will damage his energy. Oh my god. Dude, what are you doing throwing those at me, dude? Quick strike. I will end you. I will damage your energy specifically. Attack your energy. I like the slow, deliberate movement. It's it's funny. It's a little jarring at first, but it's just amusing to see him walk slowly with purpose. I mean, I feel like I need to keep turning down the volume because I look at my audio mixer and it's like, yeah, the game volume. Oh, wait, sorry. You are about to knock on the hut door when it suddenly swings open. A woman appears uh, on the edge on the doorstep. Your heart leaps from your chest. She's the one you left behind when you went to fight at Dries Deep. She is the one you loved. Ah. Hey, babe. In a detached manner, Blanche, it took you a long time. It's been 702 years. You managed to survive where 12 of our kin perished. Did you go into hiding? Mm. Bitterly. Please call me Hopper. I, I'm already used to that name. I was called Blanche when we were together. I wasn't hiding in that battle, you know. I was wounded, pierced by arrows. That's why I didn't complete my task. Yes, I've heard the legend of the 12 brave ones. They who cast an enchantment on themselves and turned into stone. They achieved their goal... The land, the land they called home was free from plague and reaping. A price too high, though, by my reckoning. Why did you come in search of me again? I wasn't looking for you, but for the local Cirrus. There are signs. Beasts are leaving the forest of the Tura. The Vandal, which has been sighted on the woodland trails, I ran into Atraka, Atrak, while in Gordon, myself. They have returned. Is another reaping upon us? Smirking? That doesn't look like no smirk. Uh, that's a foolish question, Hopper. I do not foretell the obvious. You might as well have asked whether the winter will fall or will follow autumn. The reaping is coming. You know it. All loose ends shall be tied. Smirking. Oh, it's more like a... That's a foolish question, Hopper. Uh, oh, yeah, that's what she said. What do you mean, tied? What do you mean... Yeah. One day the final reaping will come. The question is, will anyone be left in this world afterwards? Besides, uh, what... Concern of that to you? Are you not immortal? I'm the same as you, Amma. Even if we are both Umbra, we uh, have long embraced the human way of life. I care about the fate of ter Terminum. To the reaping, we are no more than specks of dust. This time, we do not have twelve comrades willing to sacrifice themselves. Among those still living, some will succumb and become reapers. Do you really wish to involve yourself? 
I need to stop the reapings. They're happening again because of me. It's my fault. Irritated. Still thinking of yourself. We are maggots. The lowliest of servants. The l lucky enough to have a seat at the table. Are you looking for the forsaken gods of this land? I have a book that describes the life of one. Here, take it. I have a good laugh reading through that nonsense. Receiving the gift, thank you for the book. I have been searching high and low for similar records. But still, when and where will the reapings begin? That's where I'm needed. I know it. 700 years the dead have blamed me. I need your help. Looking you in the eye, give me your knife. The same kind our brethren sacrificed themselves with. Give it to me and you'll get your answer. Passing the bundle, pity. I'd really hope to use it. I doubt anything else can kill a reaper. Well, here you go. But why do you want it? The reaping shall begin on the day of the vernal equinox, both in the north and the south in the towns of Woden and Alibis. I couldn't waste time if I were you. Or shouldn't. Sadly, I don't have the time to reach the north. Farewell. I hope our paths cross again, though you still haven't told me why you needed the knife. Because I'm evil! I saw you kill me with this very knife, Hopper, so I hope our paths never cross again. Farewell. What does one need to meet old age in peace? Only to avoid a major disaster. Ominous. Very ominous. Year 1002 since divine retribution. Can you say the name of the continent? Burkana, the kingdom of Odala, city of Albius. He said, that's town of Albius. You actually. Actual... Spring equinox. Eighth year of peace since the last war. All right. A retired captain of the guard and his daughter are strolling through the festival market. I love the festival market. I like the two skeletons in the bottom right of the loading screen. It's pretty cute. Unless it's ominous and I shouldn't think it's cute, you know. Oh, where'd she go? Assassin. Ezio Adatori. Speaking of stranger woman in odd clothing is walking away from the town hall. Her beast should be turning heads, yet I seem to be the only one who notices her. Linda, are you daydreaming again? You nudge your daughter when you see the... Burgomaster? Baron Trouble approaching? Ew. You look like a human slug. You're grinning. Good day, Thorn. Gleta. I take it the there's a reason you've been scouring the market since dawn, looking for a gift for Licky? Good day. Uh, how did you know? Are you choosing a festal sacrifice? Yeah, let's do that one. No, nothing has changed here. My death would do these citizens a favor. There are even those who look forward to it. Taking your found. I hope the page, paper rope tears just as it did last year. How smiles at your joke with appreciation, nods, with, uh, continues his stroll. Well, it looks like we got carried away and we aren't any close to picking a gift for Leaky. What are you going to get her? Uh, care to give me a hint? What would your mother like? Uh-oh. In this dialogue window, this icon means that your choice will have far... Alright. If only Mac came to visit. Maybe clothing? Could you give her jewelry? She wants to see her son? Uh, there's talk of trouble on the brother. Your, border must, uh, your brother must be rather busy. I hope he finds time to send his mother a letter at least. I hope so too. He would have known what gift to get her for her birthday. I'm sure you can manage on your own. Okay, I thought maybe it'd be like, oh, we're gonna, you know, I, we would go and fetch our brother and be like, look, Ma, I brought him from the home front. That's that's what I thought that meant. I thought that was, that guy wearing a banana for a hat? Oh, is that me? Oh, yeah, that's my daughter. My friend has trade jewelry and antiques. She wants to send anybody about this. I'll talk to my daughter. Is there something you want to talk about? I know that oh, what mother really needs. Good health for her ailing heart. Let's hope. Is there any way to mend it? Magic? Help from the gods? I don't put faith in magic. Even the gods, it seems. Hey, this game's called Ash of Gods. Uh, it seems. Don't offer help to their servants. Remember how we call their temple? The Temple of Divine Retribution. Only fools expect any help from them. I wish we knew why they had to ex exact this retribution on your mother. With a sigh. Huh. Then we should uh, be content with what the market has to offer. And I'm going to win tomorrow's fencing tournament in her honor. You mean I'm going to win? Do you honestly think she'll take pleasure in watching her daughter hurl herself at another blade? Even if it's, even if it is but a practice sword? 
You on? Uh, Mom used to fence when she was younger. I never could understand that. Thank God she never had to use that skill. All right, let's go and buy something. I'm your classic tomboy fantasy character. Uh, you make your way to the cloth merchant and find the stall practically blocked by view by uh, from view by a portly figure of money, of the money changer's wife. She she is a quarrelsome woman and obviously unhappy about someone inviting her. The woman gives you a curt nod, no longer showing signs of frustration. Walking towards the town gate, she disappears among the market stalls. That was an easy confrontation. Oh, I thought he was saying something. Well met, Captain. Well, look at what you've done, friend. You've just lost me a client. I swear I will... I was this close to make, taking the fortress. That was a fortress she is. Not every fortress worth the The fortress is beyond your ability. I'd be happy to chat with you, but I need to buy you. There is truth in what you say, friend. However, since you rid me of my client, perhaps you would like to buy something yourself. No shit. We're looking for a shower handkerchief, but only the best you have. You wouldn't believe, Pada Gang, how happy I am to see my daughter looking at shawls and kerchiefs. Yeah, handkerchiefs, kerchiefs, that's a weird thing. Not for a, another blade or an ancient scroll. It seems that I have two sons at this time. That's sexist, Dad. Dad, I'm standing right... Dad, I'm standing right here! But I also don't think that the history, the history and fencing aren't meant for girls. Mac went to the capital and became a baronet. I also want to be somebody. Your brother has become a baronet, you say? That's wonderful news. Please give my congratulations to your mother. Hmm. Thank you, I will. She's feeling better today, actually. Joy turned out to be more powerful than medicine. These of her son gave her strength, or more strength. Can, uh, yeah. I mean, I felt like these were both the same thing. Have you heard the healer from your sus? From your sus? Her talents? <laughs> Is the talk of Burkana. Uh, we've been to your sus and visit visited the men here. The healer wasn't at her home. She told us she could be wandering with her daughter for years. What well, we cannot exactly pitch a camp on her doorsteps, can we? Shaking his head, enough about that. You were talking about shawls. Let us choose hey. one. What kind of fabric interests you? Radon wool? Baldarian silk? Mm. Silk! Don't ring your purse and settle with the uh, price of the thing then you read Neatly fold the silken handkerchief and hand it to her. As you're about to leave, the low tolling of the bell fills the market square. Bewildered buyers and sellers alike fix their eyes upon the town hall. If only you had seen the fairy lady I spotted earlier. Why, she was almost as beautiful as your daughter. Went straight to the town hall, or all she did. Perhaps her beauty drove the chinesman mad, or did he drink himself silly again? The chinesman has outdone himself. He isn't late this time. He started early. It isn't even midday. I hear the background noise. Nodding, despite the bell, doesn't the bell sound strange to you? Almost like it's screaming. Suddenly people begin collapsing, you turn around, grab Glenda by the hand, and run towards the town hall. We didn't get to see the other, we didn't get to see our friend. The third choice. Yo. The reaping? You see Bear in trouble lying on the ground, blood flows from his mouth, nose, ears, and eyes. He is dying. So you know when to be resilient. You struggle to stay on your feet, blood gushes from your nose. Glenda, scared to death, cowers behind your back. Rather, tech who are you? What do you want? Nothing. The Burgomaster cited for you all. Cited what? Ritual, a tribute to memory. Use the last of your strength to keep standing, your heart pounding. You let the leap from your chest, your throat tightens, studying your fate, dying already. I'm going to live a while. It looks as if the monster is grinning. It clenches his, its fist, pain shoots through your heart and your chest tightens. A moment later, the pain stops. The towering monster looks at you a moment, uh, then extends its arm and points to your pendant. Do not lose it. Nodding the reaping begins with your family. No! You hear what it said about our family? Quick, we have to get her home. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. We gotta go see Ma. That's not good. I don't know why I was so attached to Ma. I haven't even seen Ma yet. Lena cries out, stopping you in your tracks. She hastily pulls some kind of co or colored plaques, plaques from under her belt. That, these almost burned me. Rask gave them to me about a week ago. Suppose they used to, to be magic battle cards in the past. They became burning hot all of a sudden. 
Uh, let me store the cards in your bag. Take a look. Are we playing a card game right now? Magic plaques are hot to touch, almost burning your fingers, yet they fit comfortably in the palm of your hand. You feel as if you could with the but the gesture, sling spells at any foe. Could they be regaining their power because of the reaping? You know where Ras came by these cards, but you remember seeing the pe them peddled as Kyrio uh, Kyrios and souvenirs as many Birkin marker market. Set of footsteps oh, I see you. Goofy ass looking bandits. Uh, the sound of footsteps comes from somewhere up ahead. Three thugs are bearing. Did you just do a snot rocket? The three thugs are bearing the way. Their swollen faces are contorted with mindless rage. Did the highwaymen become so brazen as to attack town folk? Another snot rocket. With a swift motion, you draw your sword, but the thugs are unimpressed. You look closer, notice their vacant eyes and the foam at their mouths. Their opponents are either very drunk or insane. You step in front of Glenda. I'll beat some sense to them. Stand back. In response, Glenda steps aside, drawing her own blade. Did I practice the sword all these years just to cower behind your back? I mean, you did that earlier in the market. Together, we can deal with them faster. What your dolly is really asking is for some stern parenting, but the thugs attack you with, fa uh, with a feral roar. You can only hope that Glenda has taken your lessons to heart. If you have more than one character in your party, you can choose the turn order. Okay. Uh, click on the icon on the bottom. Let's use a card. Each card is a number that shows which round has become available. Each card can only be used once per battle. After you use a card, it won't be available until the next battle. All right. Let's go with our next to a character portrait to indicate the number of wounds the character sustained. The character stats are lower depending on the number of wounds. If your character sustains four wounds, they die. I got wounded by um, uh, the story, didn't I? Keep an eye out for this useful button. Hence, it can uh, be found throughout the game. Click on it to read descriptions of various game mechanics. I thought I was injured. We move first, and another daughter follows after us. Right? Wait, our daughter has more health than us. Should our daughter lead? How do we, I, I don't know how to pick order. That's all right. I need to stand in between all three of them and just get the brakes beaten off of me. Uh, anger, increase your defense, parry. Uh, fight back, deal seven, and push any push back and enemy at one time, increase your counterattack. What's this? Increase defense of a party member. Hmm. Should we just buff ourselves? Right? First, is that acceptable? Did I have to cast down her. Did I, did I make you angry? Nope. I, I really don't know how to use this, to be honest. <laughs> so we're just gonna go and hit this guy in the mouth. God bless. Oh no, I'm gonna walk in between all of them. This might not be the move. Oh. What do you? Please don't. What did he just do? What move did he, I think he did anger. He did the spell that I didn't comprehend. Did ah, I just beat my dad in the face with a stick? Heavy strike? Yo, is my daughter the main character because she does the dirty damage? Okay. You're dead, man. Oh my goodness. Oh, is she gonna get killed for that? Why? Leave, leave my daughter alone, you pervert! I don't even know what that effect means. Stop snot rocketing over everyone! Uh, alright. That won't kill him. We gotta fall back and protect our daughter. Ah, god, he hit me in the face! Psych. Help and uh, do 12 damage to help in all surrounding units. Oh, I should have done that earlier. Turns out, boys, I'm in debt or I am stupid. Inept. I say in debt. What am I saying? This attack is health normally. Pushed you into my daughter. Keep her safe. Hey, are you gonna hit my energy? 
All right, you're gonna focus my energy? You did. Get, oh, you're a dead man. Get him, daughter. Strike him with your pommel. Oh, I should have attacked energy. I'm actually an idiot. Yeah, that's, that's on me. Stop hitting me. You're about to get countered. Yeah, nice. Watch out. Frozen with terror, Glenda stares at the bloody corpses. Oh, that's a bunch of achievements. What, 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 are the, what are these achievements? Let's just read them, even though you're going to trust me. Win a battle without using an ability to, that, that decreases health. Uh, win a battle without using an ability that decreases energy. Kill an enemy with a counterattack. Alright, cool. Glenda stares at the bloody corpses. This is the first time she has fought to the death. Grabbing your daughter by the shoulders, you shake her until she looks away from the body. She meets her, your glaze and see, stealing herself nods with determination. I like it. You are proud of your daughter, but even more so worried about your wife, Leaky. There is no time to lose. You need to get home as soon as possible. A couple of side alleys later, you open the familiar gate. Let's see how Mama Bear's doing. Short 25 minutes. Hmm. Do we end the video before we see Mom? Uh oh. You run into the house, blink over in the living room. Only tenor, your housekeeper, stands at the door trembling. Queen of her daughter and your maid lie motionless on the floor. Just beside her is your wife, Leaky. Gasp for air falling to your knees. You touch your wife's body, her lifeless hands still warm. Glenda sobs nearby. Everything is going dark. Mom, get up. You're right, your friends, stop pretending. The tolling of the bells fills the air around you. It's so loud, your head's about to burst. You get up and can barely walk, make out what Tenor is saying. Weeping heavily, such a tragedy has befallen us. Oh, that's Tenor. That's not, oh, that's my daughter. Uh, so on, on such grief, first, both Leaky and Keona screamed in pain. Then my daughter seemed to lose her mind. She went at the mistress of Leaky with a knife. Mistress defended herself, but. Takes a sheet from the bed and covers Keon's body. No longer sobbing, I will in a moment. Be strong for us, daughter. On oh the horror, the horror. I'm gonna kill you because your daughter killed my wife. His Excellency Count Viki and his young son Brand always said it would end this way. Yeah, don't you dare mention their names. Of course, Master, I'll do it. Lender, remember to take your mother's jewelry box and bring the money from the nook in my room quickly. You brush aside the strand of your wife's hair and notice something odd. A blue dark mark like an ulcer on the nape of her neck. The surrounding skin is swollen as if burnt. Letta also notices it and backs away with her face pale. This is right out of the ancient manuscript. The same thing happened 700 years ago. A pain pierces your neck and grows to a fiery noose. It strangles you and you die in terrible agony. They call this the plague. They call this plague the reaping. Dad, the back of my neck is burning. Let me see. Damn it, you got the same mark. Take a look. Do I have it? Nothing? How come? I didn't... I said I'm not gonna die being cocky when I should have just said don't attack my daughter. I'm actually irritated that I made that mistake. <laughs> I mean, because like I didn't think... I was like, you're killing no one was in my head. And like I was gonna fight him. Like I thought that's what was gonna happen. Oh well. I'm, I don't need to justify it right now. I'm just a bad parent. Wait, I don't believe in luck. There must have been something else. Something that protected me. But what? I read a manuscript about reaping. It mentioned special stones. The Strixes, like the one in your pendant. Maybe that's why the monster in the square took it. Look, oh, you're right. You take your captain's insignia off hang, and hang it from your daughter's neck. She nods and you pull into your brace again. Hell yeah, father of the year right there. Put, Make sure your daughter lives even if it costs your life. You walk into the front yard and look around. No, you shouldn't bury Leaky here. Better to do it back in the back. Lita follows you, get tenor, and bring the body so you tell her, be quick about it. Our time is short, just wrap them in something, all right? You finish digging, your hands are shaking, but not from fatigue. Tenor buries his face in his hands. Blinda is the shadow of her former self. Realization dawns. If you halt, Sora will drown you. You climb out of the freshly dug grave and lift Leaky's body. You lay key on his body besides that of her mistress. They used to play together as children. You lift the shovel, Leda's remains still. Tenor mumbles one of the temple's hymns. What could he be asking the gods, you wonder? What use are the prayers to his daughter now? You drop the last handful of dirt onto the grave and throw the shovel aside. You feel as if on the edge of a cliff. Your wife is no more. Her body no longer in your warm embrace, but in the cold earth. For some reason, you still live. Linda hugs you, pulling you back from the precipice. The same as when you met the Reaper. Woof! Hey, this is a good game, actually. I'm surprised I never played it or never got into it. Uh... Uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that nonsense. This is Ash of God Redemption, uh, $24.99 US dollars, developed and published by 
Aram Dust. It came out May 23rd, 2018. Ash of Gods, Redemption is a turn-based RPG that combines tactical combat, CCG elements, and a constantly evolving story in which no one is safe from death, including the main characters. And I'm seeing that. Uh, so far, I like the soundtrack. It's uh, It seems very interesting. I don't know how deep I'm going to be able to get into it because I started playing Final Fantasy XIV, but this is actually very intriguing. And within the first 30 minutes, I was already regretting that I made the wrong choice. So I think that's a sign of a good game. So like, comment, subscribe, all that nonsense. I know this video is not funny and edited like the last one, but bear with me. I think this one has a different tone than the last video. Uh, catch you guys next time. Bye-bye. This thing is called Riding the Bull.